So moving on to um, uh, the idea of combining uh, the uh, effect of the mean stress and the alternating stress on damage, I list here four different uh, possibilities or equations that are commonly used in fatigue design. And then we will discuss how this can be represented graphically and how we would use it in some uh, applications. The first one is uh, uh, called the Soderberg uh, equation. And the Soderberg equation is um, such that uh, the sum of the damage due to the alternating uh, to, with the damage due to the uh, steady, the sum should not exceed 1. However, if we need to consider a factor of safety, then we uh, essentially should reduce the stresses by the factor of safety. So sigma alternating should be divided by n, and sigma mean should be divided by n, which means that I can bring uh, the, um, uh, uh, this, uh, in this case, basically, let me take that back. If we consider a factor of safety, this means that the properties of the materials have to be uh, degraded. In other words, SE has to be degraded by N, and S yield ha has to be degraded by N. Uh, and uh, that uh, gives us uh, the uh, factor of safety that we have in here. Uh, so on the right-hand side, instead of 1, then we would have 1 over N. The next one is uh, modified Goodman. And in modified Goodman, uh, the damage due to the alternating remains the same. And the damage due to the uh, steady component uh, is, not ratio, the, is not ratio to the yield anymore, but it's ratio to the ultimate. Um, and therefore, the sum of the two damages should not exceed 1 over n for a factor of safety of n. Uh, the next one is the Gerber criterion. And the Gerber, uh, again, adds the uh, component of the alternating damage uh, with the degraded value of SE to the component of the mean damage with the degraded value of S ultimate, because you have S ultimate over N. But uh, it uses a square here to reduce the effect of the beam. In other words, it, in, in Gerber, it is uh, uh, giving more uh, credence to the alternating in determining the final failure. Uh, the uh, ASME elliptic equation is uh, likewise uh, more of a, they call it elliptic because uh, the damage is not linearly added, but it's added with the square. And therefore, you get an equation for an ellipse if you plot the relationship between sigma alternating and sigma mean. That gives you an ellipse. So let's uh, see how we will uh, use these in uh, graphically, because the graphical representation can tell us how uh, we would use it in the design. So in this case, I have uh, the lines are represented uh, simply here. Uh, so if you have uh, the uh, first line, let me just use the different colors. The first line is this line here, and this line it connects uh, the endurance limit to the yield strength of the material on the horizontal, and uh, this is uh, the line that is most conservative. So this is the Soderberg line, and the Soderberg line is sigma alternating over SE plus uh, sigma mean over S yield is equal to zero, is equal to one. Um, and then uh, the next line is, uh, I'm going to color it green. So the next line is the line that connects S E on the uh, vertical line to S ultimate on the horizontal. And therefore, the damage uh, is sigma alternating over S E plus uh, sigma mean over SUT, that should be equal to 1. This line is called the uh, modified Goodman line that we talked about earlier. And uh, then we can have additional lines. And uh, the additional lines is that 
if we consider the ASME uh, equation, it would be an ellipse. It would look like this. And the ASME equation is based on the yield for the and the endurance limit. So it would look, the ASME equation looks like uh, the uh, uh, Soderberg, but it would be squared. So you have SA, sigma A over SE squared plus sigma mean over S yield squared. So equals to one. That would be the ASME elliptic uh, equation. Uh, finally, the Gerber line, and the Gerber line is a line that goes uh, over, uh, it's an overarching line here, where on the vertical, again, S endurance. On the horizontal, we have uh, S ultimate, but it has a square. Uh, so in addition to that, we can represent two additional lines. One is the load line, and the load line is uh, the, the ratio between sigma alternating over uh, or S alternating or S mean. So this way here, uh, we can write the load line is uh, if we have, for example, alternating over the mean uh, for a given loading, we can represent sigma endurance uh, or sigma, we can represent uh, the, re the relationship between the uh, alternating and the mean uh, stress. And this relationship, if it is, we can give it a ratio R, then it would be a straight line. And the straight line um, has this equation that determines how far we can push the alternating um, as a function of the mean stress. So there will be intersection points of this load line, intersection points depending on which criterion we use, and at each intersection point it tells us the maximum possible combination of the alternating and the mean uh, if we had this uh, loading consideration or loading line. Uh, the next uh, a line that we have discussed before also is the Langer line and the Langer line uh, is a protection against yield. So the Langer line, uh, we discussed it, we want to make sure that we don't go into this dangerous region where we can have yield on first, uh, on first trial. So once we, uh, let me take this one out here so you can see and uh, Therefore, we uh, have we can use either one of these all for uh, design uh, purposes, as we'll see in some of these examples. Okay, so let's uh, now try to uh, move on to take uh, examples. And before we take the examples, I'd like to point out that uh, we have a table. And the table summarizes uh, the equations of these uh, lines and the key intersection points. So for modified Goodman, the equation is given here, SA over SE plus SM over SUT. Here they're using SM and SA, but it's essentially sigma alternating and sigma mean that you apply. Uh, so this is equal to 1. And the load line is uh, R equals uh, uh, SA over SM. So if you solve these two equations for the intersection point, uh, you get the coordinates, uh, the SA and the SM coordinates. And those will be the coordinates of the modified Goodman line and the load line, which will be right here. So we have coordinate over of S mean and the uh, S alternating, and these are the values that we will find from the intersection. Uh, the, uh, uh, we could also find the intersection between the Langer line, which is only on the yield, and the load line. And the intersection gives us two other coordinates. The Langer line, if we remember, is a 45 degree line, and then you have a load line here so you're looking for that intersection point, and you have SA and SM 
as you can see from this equation. And um, uh, the, we can uh, determine uh, a variety of uh, uh, criteria uh, if, if we just kind of uh, uh, try to make the design. For example, uh, if we're designing for a factor of safety n, then instead of every one of these, instead of one, you have one over n, one over n, one over n everywhere, and then you solve for n in this case. When you solve for n, the, uh, you get uh, 1 over uh, sigma a over se plus sigma m over s ultimate, and that would be the fatigue uh, factor of safety. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, as we have discussed now here, is that I uh, wanted to show you that it is possible to get uh, basically two intersections, uh, which is uh, the Goodman uh, intersection with the load. So this is the first part of this, uh, the coordinates here. And then the next one is the Langer intersecting with the load. And then the third one is the Goodman intersecting with the Langer. So these are three points that we can determine from these equations. So if we go back and look at these three points, this is um, the load line intersecting with the Goodman. Here is the load line intersecting with uh, Langer. And here is the Langer intersecting with the Goodman. So you have three points. This is A, and this is B, and this is C and uh, the coordinates of these three points are given in uh, table 6.6. So the bottom line is that it is nice because it's all already worked for, out for us. So we don't have to solve two equations and two unknowns to determine these points. Uh, all what we have to do is uh, use the table, and the table can give us the coordinates of these three points that we will use in assessing the design. This can be done also, not only for the modified Goodman criteria, but for the three other criteria. So we could do it for uh, Soderberg, we can do that for the elliptic, and we can do this for the Gerber. And I'm going to, uh, to quickly go over the tables, and then hopefully we could uh, do a design example or two. So in this case, uh, you have a table, 6.7, uh, this is for Gerber, and uh, you can read it on your own here. Uh, these are the three intersection points, uh, and uh, these are the coordinates for each case. And then that is the fatigue factor of safety, if desired to have a factor of safety. And um, next is uh, we have uh, next... Uh, the ASME, and the ASME here, again, has uh, the intersection with the load line, the intersection um, between the load line and the Langer line, and the intersection between the, the, um, the uh, uh, ASME elliptic equation and the Langer line. Uh, so we have basically all of the ingredients that we want, and uh, we should be able to uh, do a few examples in the next uh, segment of this lecture.